Buenas noches, señorín. What's the Earl doing here? Nothing. Look, he's just yesterday's news. We're all going to forget about him, right, Felicia? No, because you never know what he's capable of doing. He's not going to do anything because there's nothing in it for him. Now, if all of you worry warts will excuse me, I have to meet a new client over at Sassy. Lorna. I love you. Please let me help you. And I love you, too. But don't smother me with all this unnecessary help. I get that you're trying to scare the pants off of the girl, but maybe I'll have more luck. Look, fine. Whatever it takes. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. I'm going to make another phone call. Thank you, Billy. Uh, Marguerite, come here. Maggie, please. Well, Maggie, it looks like I got you off this time. But oh, you know, don't you mean again? You know, I've worked for the Corys for years now, but I've never met one of them who's more spoiled or conceited than you are. Conceited? No way. Not only are you foolish enough to think that you're smarter than the police, but you show your family absolutely no allegiance whatsoever. Ian Rain held Stephen Frame's mother captive no, at least once, didn't. probably twice. And you don't even hesitate to invite this criminal into the Corey family home? Now, either you show these people the respect they're due, or I'm going to let them throw you in jail. Listen, I'm going to go check on Allie. Will you uh, let me know when you leave? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Thanks. This looks like he's really giving it to Maggie there. Look, I know that she's your relative and all, but, um, I mean, nobody deserves it more. Ian Rain has done some very twisted things to the people we care about. Well, I appreciate you coming over, Ryan. <sighs> Listen, thanks. I'm just as anxious to catch this guy as everybody else. Uh, um, by the way, uh, have you... Have you heard how Stephen's doing? Oh, Bridget called and said that, um... That Donna was taking Stephen out to uh, be in the hospital with Vicky. Oh, great. That's all we know why. Well, I was just wondering if, if Vicky had actually called in herself. Well, she's not apt to do that. All we know is what we've heard uh, via bulletins. She's doing better, though. I know that. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But listen, if she does happen to call here, could you please get her number where I can get in touch with her? Um... Well, honey, I don't think she will call. Right, but, well, if she does. It's... Of course, of course. Well, that's getting awfully late. Yes, it certainly is, and you have to rest. Actually, uh, I just, I had a little bit of a headache, Grant. I was wondering if you could bring me some aspirin. Well, darling, I think it's time for your pain pills. No. I don't want my pain pills. I just want a couple of aspirin. All right. I'll be right back. Yes, what do you, what do you need? I need Ryan. And I want you to get him for me. Get Ryan? Get Ryan? Are you out of your mind? Oh, for crying out loud. I, I just want you to get him on the phone. I need to talk Why to him. Why on earth would you want to get Ryan? That's too big a risk. He risked everything for me. His career, his life, everything to oh, yeah. He almost killed you. I know. I know. And that's exactly why I need to talk to him, to tell him that it's okay. Darling, I'm sorry. I can't do this. It's just too big a change. Mother, you said you wanted to help me. I need you to do this for me. Call Ryan tonight. Billy, did Matthew tell you about putting the bulletin on KBAY tonight? Yeah, he did, and I told him to go ahead. At this point, we need all the leads we can get on Ian Rain. No thanks to you. And we've also surrounded the house, Rachel. I don't think Ian Rain's going to be back. Of course he's not going to be back. Maggie! You know, thank you so much for that valuable piece of information. Too bad you weren't forthcoming about ten hours ago. Don't worry, Billy. We're going to have a long chat about all of this once you two leave. Thank you so much for all of your help, and thank the men who found Maggie for us. Well, you'll be hearing from me. Very soon, Rachel. Yes, I'm sure. Debating as to whether or not to press charges against little Maggie here. Good night, all. Good night. A oh, little Maggie? Who does he think Maggie? he is? He thinks you're a little girl with an awful lot of growing up to do, Maggie. Do you realize that that man was willing to risk his life to save yours? Think about it. Be back in touch, Rachel. I'm not going to like this, am I? 
Thanks for the information, Rudolph. Uh, listen, Billy, I, uh, I want to thank you for, uh, putting me back in the case. Well, I thought you'd be helpful, and you were. So does that mean you're going to lift the suspension? Oh, I don't on, have that kind you, of pull here. You got a lot of pull downtown. Wait a minute. Before you say anything, um, when Brett and Matt were leaving, I found a note for you. Looks really fancy. I wonder what's in it. Give me the note, Maggie. And do me a big favor and go to bed. Oh. I'm looking forward to our drink. I'll be in touch. Come. Carl is just trying to terrorize everybody. Of course, he's starting with a warning. <laughs> and I don't quite know what to do, because I don't know what... Okay. Right. what? Huh. You know, I don't think too many people are going to be happy to see us here, but to tell you the truth, I could care less. Good for you, Jake. I'm glad to see some of your pride coming back. I think we're going to be able to pull a rabbit out of the hat with the quarries? We still uh, retain a very large share of their holdings. They might not know it yet, but we're going to be a force to be reckoned with, especially when I start pulling some strings. What about Paulina? How am I going to square things with her? By showing her just how good you are, Jake. Women admire that in men. Trust me. What are Jake and Spencer doing here? I don't understand. First Carl, now them. What is this? Honey, honey, you're gonna see them around town. You can't let it upset you, okay? You're just gonna get used to it. I don't care about even one of them. I really don't. What worries me is Carl. Oh, God. I should never have done that movie. I, I should have come home so I could have helped her out. Lorna? Oh, come on, Mom. She would have done exactly what she did tonight. You know that she hates to let people in. Absolutely. Look at Kevin. He's a walking example of it. He was a perfect man for her, and yeah, she just... that's exactly what I'm talking about. She lost someone that was so important to her, and she doesn't even take the time to know that she's hurting yet. Guys, guys, she's a lot tougher than, than, than you're giving her credit for. Mom, she, you know, she's got guts like you. Oh, sure. She thinks she's, uh, she's a real superwoman, right? Yeah. Honey, look at me. Look at me. No, no, baby, I know you didn't. I... But it's true. You know, when you act like you can outsmart everybody all by yourself, People really do start to believe you. Mm. So you mean if Lorna gets herself deep in trouble? Yes. She'll make sure that there is nobody around to help her. Who's there? I said, who's there? to reach Ryan. What you need to do is rest and stop worrying so much about Ryan. And how am I supposed to do that? Everything's so unsettled. But you're the only one who feels that way. I'm the one Ryan shot. Ryan and Grant have sworn never to discuss this. But I didn't swear to anything. This must be tearing Ryan up inside. But if this is the way they feel, why don't you respect their wishes? Because Ryan hates to lie. And I know this is just killing him. Well, think about your husband. This magnanimous thing that he has done by putting his reputation as a level-headed man on the line, I think that's extraordinary. I know. So do I, and so would half of America. We're the only ones that know about this. And Grant and Ryan want to keep it that way. Fine, Grant will get his wish. He always does. But I just have to tell Ryan that... that I forgive him, that I know it was all just an accident. Would you please... please just go to the nurse's desk and bring me a phone? Grant wouldn't like that. That's why I'm begging you. So what you're telling me is that even though Gordon had this guy on a stakeout, he still lost him? This guy, Rain, has the instincts of a rat. I mean, he always finds a way out. Yeah, well, don't come crying on my shoulder, Billy. I told you a long time ago that 
Gordon wasn't even in Ian's league. Yeah, well, now the chief knows it, too. Well, Billy, I'm telling you, you put the right guy in the job, you just might get some... Damn it. No word from Vicky, huh? No. No, not from, not from Donna, not from Grant, not from... Not from anybody. Grant's beginning to play games again. Yeah, I'm telling you, he doesn't want me anywhere near her. Look, man, I know you're worried, but you gotta chill. Vicky's not in some cave this time. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she isn't a prisoner. She's with her husband and, his, and her son and her mother. And if I know Grant, he's got round-the-clock protection for all of them. Exactly. Which means that you should take me off the suspension and put me back on the case, Billy. Ryan, I can't have you waging a private war from police headquarters. I am the best cop you've got. You need me. You know that I'm the only one who can handle rain. You think you're dealing with an idiot here? You're not fooling me for one second, Harrison.